Welcome to Raikutu.com. In this video, we'll see about Jira data center versions allowable. Jira admins can allow incoming and outgoing connections and contain some specialized resources or sources back the URL to the allowed. Jira will display an error if contain has been updated that is not from an allowed and from the users add the URL. To the allowed list application strings are automatically added to the allowed list you don't need to manually add them whenever you are working on a allowed list you need to have jira admin permissions if you don't have the admin permissions you won't be able to do it now if you wanted to learn about jira you can always refer my jira playlist if you want to learn about jira apis you can refer Jira API playlist. I've also created one course on rivalcult.graphy.com where you can start your Jira for Scrum Master and Project Manager journey where you can get end to end outline about Jira. And after enrolling this course, you will become a master as a part of Scrum Master and Project Manager. This is not only limited for Scrum Master and Project Manager. Even as an end user or user or testers, you can also enroll this course with very nominal fees. You can get a proper certificates as well as structured outline about Jira. Coming down to the today's topic here, whenever you will navigate it to the settings in Jira Data Center versions, you will get options of this term. Click on this and from here, in left panel, you will see allow list. Here, you can turn off the allow list. Basically, whenever you will turn off the allow list, it will allow all your links to access your URL, which is not recommended by Jira best practices. But if you want, you can do it. You can also configure settings if you want to allow authenticated users restrict by default and allow all users all those settings are available here you can set outgoing incoming allow anonymous users and user permissions are also available as of now you can see domain name exact match wildcard expressions in a regular action all the options available for you at the filter so if you can see here they have used wildcards wildcard it means star mark after the url Post that it will accept all the URLs based on your request. If I want to add any of those options based on the exact match, let's consider. I wanted to add here rankergold.graphy.com. It will allow exactly matching with this URL. After that, it won't allow incoming and I am selecting allow anonymous users. That will also so unless and until this URL is not matching, it will not allow end users to enter within this domain. If I wanted to add, simply I will click on add. And at any point of time, if I want to modify, simply click on pencil icon, select both those both options, allow incoming or allow anonymous users and update it. We can also delete at any point of time whenever is not needed in allow list. But as a part of best practices, we can also use different types. Domain name is basically directly adding the URL and post that we can add wildcards. Wildcard is nothing but a star mark. After this, it will accept any characters which is entered or requested by the end user. Second type we have exactly matching, which I explained here by using the google.traffy.com. You can refer it. And the third one is wildcard expressions, which is already available here. And finally, the regular expressions. If you want to add any complex domain which is not directly available, and you want to avail or you want more number of end users you can always use regular expressions based on that it will allow so this is how we are allowing the list but as a part of best practices it's always suggested to use 
the proper domain name or wildcards so that we can avoid spammer or intruder to get inside our instance. That's all about this video about Jira data center versions allow list. If you wanted to learn more about Jira administrations, you can always refer my Jira playlist and reach out to me for any queries and if you need any help in Jira as well as Agile and software testing concept. If you wanted to learn a new topic which is not available on my channel, always feel free to add inside the comment sections about the topic name. I will definitely come up with new videos soon based on the demands. That's all from this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you for watching. Till next time, keep learning.